Here we're going to find a product of 4 minus 3i and its conjugate. So first of all, what is the conjugate? If we just have two terms, a plus b, the conjugate is a minus b. And if you started with a minus b, your conjugate would be a plus b. So you're basically switching sign on the second term. What we have is 4 minus 3i. The way you write conjugates, you put a bar over top of it. Now it's a little bit annoying looking because it kind of looks like a. you're starting to write a fraction. And that's just the way that the notation works. So it's conjugate is 4 plus 3i. So that's how you get the conjugate. Now we're going to multiply. When we multiply conjugates, the outside inside term is going to cancel. And we multiply complex numbers. I like to go f l o i. I like to do the inside outside at the end. So we're going to go first, 4 times 4, 16. Uh, last, I have negative 3i squared. Remember, one of them is negative, the other one's positive, so that's why the negative's outside the square. Uh, the outside term is 4 times 3i is 12i. The inside term, negative 3i times 4, negative 12i. So we have 3i squared. So it's 3 squared i squared plus 12i minus 12i cancels out, so there is no imaginary term here. What is i squared? Remember, i squared is negative 1. 16 minus 3 squared is 9 times negative 1, so you actually add these. Negative, uh, negative, or minus a negative is a positive. And here 16 and 9 is 25. Now they want it in a plus, right in a plus bi form. Now there's no b part right here, but we can still write it like that. 25 is a, there's 0 i. So then a is 25. If I could write 25 and 0. And we'll check our answers. There we go. So remember, conjugate multiplication, it's always going to be a squared minus b squared. The only difference for us when you have imaginary term going second, it's a squared minus bi squared. The i squared is to negative 1, so it's minus a negative or plus b squared. So that's how conjugates work when they're complex.